And a massive day for the man in the middle there, the number one plate. Just needs to finish in the top six riders today. And he can't be beaten to that eighth overall World Cup title. The last race of 2022, the last World Cup is underway here. Shouten not getting the best of starts, actually falling back into the pack yes. a little bit. Squeezed in by uh, Jordan Saru. Now around, uh, yeah, let's say, 10th position. Yeah. The climb starts with Tito Akrot. He's leading. Alan Hattel is there. And now they come now onto the first lap then of six full laps to this place. Haven't seen he across the line in fourth. There he goes with the green around his middle. Daskalu, Scalini, Schurter. Tito Akarot, you see immediately after a, a, just a, a, a very short technical part, the gap is immediately there. Watching this, I can't help but think back to Montserrat a few weeks ago. He made yep. the difference on the technical bits. He, he did. He inched away, he got a gap. And no one got back into that race. Yeah, but so Scher is a little bit further back yeah, than see, usual. See the dust here in the forest. Oh. But Karad riding away at the front at the moment. Now he's on the longest, steepest climb of the course. Hathley trying to go with him. Which brings the riders to the highest point in the first loop of this. Hathley might be coming back yeah. to him, but Saru like as well there. He's coming back to Tito Akrod. And there is your virtual World Cup standing as things are at the moment. The man coming towards us with the number one plate will take his eighth title if things stay as they are. Pushing hard to close that gap on fourth place. Well, you get the feeling that he can't leave it too much longer. No. He's not going to want that gap to get any bigger. And it's interesting, as you say, it's Scherter who's decided to do the work. Nino in fourth place at the moment, trying desperately to close the gap down on this man, Karod off that drop. Athlete again favouring the outside, Saru tackling that steep inside line. Yeah, he's pushing hard now to close the gap and he does it. Yeah, incredible. He's back to the chasers with Hatterley. Rido's about to make this a four-man party. Yeah, he's back as well. He is, look at this then. Nino now is still, he likes to work, he yeah. likes to close that gap. He doesn't mind. But I mean, Jordan Su now, look, up, look back over his shoulder, also look up Brido, he has to work, but he doesn't do that much so far. And I think Alan Hatterley, he's not able to do too much. And he looks like a little bit more exhausted. Still in there though, third in the overall, remember, Alan Hatterley at the moment. Yeah, similar to Monsenen, I remember. I mean, the position on his bike, the way yeah. how he's riding, very composed. Yeah, building that gap and then just maintaining it. He's very much riding his own race, isn't he? Yeah, he does. Tichuan Karad's leading by quite a margin. 34 seconds through the last split. This man, Luca Brado, giving chase with this pack. Nino Scherter, Jordan Saru, and Alan Hathley in there as well. Hathley pain written all over his face now. No bother on that inside. He doesn't have to make that look easy, but no stress whatsoever. Oh. Also for Victor Koretsky. Oh, sorry, you look at Ryder. on there on that climb, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's because it's so, so much steeper than it looks on camera. Yeah, it was look up, Ryder. Yeah, looking like he's a bit further back now. Here he comes. No, he dropped back a lot. Quite yeah. a lot. Yeah. So, and again, looking down at that back wheel, Bart. Yeah, we saw that in the previous lap. Now looking he does it again. But I notice he's looking down at the drive side of the wheel, so perhaps the gear's jumping or something. Might be. Big gaps now. On this last lap between the riders, 28. Between yeah. first and second, 25 then back to Jordan Saru, but that gap between this man and Scherter. Less than 30 seconds now. Already less than 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, Tito Akarot has to push hard. He does. In that second loop. He cannot relax now. Not at all, no. And it's going to be this man's first World Cup perfect weekend, taking Friday night short track, and now taking his second ever cross-country Olympic win, Tito Akarot. Incredible ride from him, a massive...
massive margin. Here comes Nino, a smile on his face. Ten times a world champion. He did that last week. And in the same year, taking his eighth overall World Cup title. Scherta puts it into the record books. The only man to take eight World Cup overall titles. It's ridiculous what Nino Scherer has done in his career. A great ride for Jordan Saru as well. A fine third place finish for him here today in Italy. Kretzky gets fourth. Yeah, look at Heidel. After his chain problem on fifth place for Italy. It was a, a really hard win, but yeah, two wins in a row and one uh, Friday and one today, it's, it's perfect, I can't believe it. The whole season uh, with winning world champs and uh, now also winning the overall, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a dream. I, the past two years, were, I haven't been there where I wanted and now coming back uh, yeah, with, with those uh, two insane uh, victories, it's, it's, it's really nice and uh, feels really good. And there's the overall World Cup standings and Tichuan Karotem with that result goes from fifth to second. Luca Brido goes from second down to third. Happily drops from third to fifth with Valero staying there in fourth place in the end.